The Greek camps are, by common consent, miserable places for the refugees, and temperatures well below freezing at night do nothing to improve things. But they've been gathering spare food together and helping distribute it to others for whom things are potentially even worse. Adele, who's originally from Aleppo, joins his friend Adnan and European volunteers on the streets of Thessaloniki. They're looking for people to give food to. In this cold, being hungry could be a killer. But the food isn't only for refugees. In this squalid apartment are homeless Greeks who are grateful for the kindness of strangers. I didn't know they were refugees. I'd like to thank them. They come three times a day, lunchtime and at night as well. In this bitter cold, there is the most extraordinary inversion of events. Refugees from Syria feeding homeless Greeks. It's about the humanity. It's not about refugees. It's not about the, the Greek people. It's about the human. I, I don't care if they are Greek and I am a refugee. I am from Syria. Like, I don't care. They are still a human. For the volunteers, it helps to have refugees with them who know where the most vulnerable might be. The way we found the family staying in the apartment blocks here was actually um, a refugee who was helping us out and he would spend his time during the day when he first arrived here about nine months ago to find everybody in the city that needed help like homeless refugees homeless Greeks next stop is an abandoned half-built car park which is home to Afghans and Pakistanis who are at risk of deportation there is nothing here but survival in its most basic form a testament to just how bad things have got for those deemed unsuitable for asylum as bad as it may look here, things in northern Greece aren't quite as bad as they are in other parts of Central Europe during this intense cold because the authorities have made some efforts to move the most vulnerable homeless out of places like this and into hostels. But there's no doubt that the food that the refugees and the volunteers are providing is potentially a lifesaver. This cold weather front is presenting a massive humanitarian challenge for those trying to help the refugees in several countries. Here, uniquely, they're doing their best to help each other. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Thessaloniki, Northern Greece.